Thank you for tuning into The Light. This is Jake, and I have another important news briefing and another very special video for you folks today. Um, in fact, today we're going to go over a little bit more strategy, and then uh, we actually have a word from our new sponsor, Wholesome Nutrients. Um, but today, I want to talk about why cannabis matters, especially to the markets um, in our kind of uh, analytical lens here. Um, see, because uh, cannabis has a big, big uh, potential role in the future of our agricultural economy as it can replace soy, cotton, trees uh, for paper, and also tobacco for a uh, smokable, uh, consumable item. Um, not only that, but you can use hemp to replace um, non-renewable carbon resources such as petroleum, uh, especially for uh, bioplastics, but also for biofuel, uh, so on and so forth. So this versatile plant has so many uses. I mean, it can replace soy as a nutritional crop, uh, and hemp has long been a uh, staple of nutrition, actually, up until recently. In fact, um, it was uh, noted by medieval scholars that during his path to enlightenment, Buddha actually consumed only grain, rice, and uh, hemp seed, supposedly, um, uh, leading a life of deprivation to his path to enlightenment. Um, now it can replace cotton for textiles and clothing, and you know, it's just a fact as well. Uh, you'll see um, here this little visual that up until about the 1820s, everything, um, your clothing, textiles, fabrics, was made out of hemp. So why don't we do that today? Um, I don't really know, but um, we can pick this back up again and it'll be great for our economy, great for the environment, and um, it's also gonna be good for us, you know, and we don't need to be cutting down trees to use for paper. Uh, ancient paper was on hemp, you know. The Declaration of Independence was written on hemp, and hemp can also be used to build uh, you can use it to make concrete and a lot of other things. So uh, it eliminates the need to cut down large uh, swaths of trees uh, for certain reasons. And then, of course, tobacco, another crop which uh, hemp can replace and, um, and, and, and make more money than. Uh, and, and also, why smoke poison? Why smoke tobacco? You know, uh, why smoke tobacco, whereas you can smoke hemp uh, or cannabis, which may actually relieve the symptoms of addiction and withdrawal uh, based on studies that we're seeing now. Uh, you know, why smoke poison? Um, and, and so this is a very important crop. Uh, this is going to be crucial uh, for farmers in the future uh, who are looking to diversify their crop or who need a crop for crop rotation because it's good to restore soil especially though for farmers who need to make more money uh, or who potentially need to save on their water usage. Um, hemp is an incredible, incredible crop. And it, it is one that is a necessity for a lot of farmers today. And that's why we see more hemp being grown now than ever before in history, more licenses being given out than ever before, um, roughly double the licenses at least. Uh, in the state of Colorado even from last year when when uh, we see much more than that with this nationwide legalization and spread of hemp um, but industrial hemp seems to be even uh, more important than that uh, because it, it's it's playing a role in the macroeconomic schematics um, and it's actually going to be a important part of our economy in this uh, US-China trade war. And I'm gonna tell you why. Um, be because hemp, where legal, may really be the ag sector's saving grace in these troubling times when farmers have buckets, just, just vast quantities of soy, corn, and other crops just rotting, going to waste. Um, without buyers. China has said that they would buy a lot, but they haven't seemed to buy a significant amount uh, or any more than they had before in the past. Um, now, these farmers need money and they're looking for something to export or cash crops that they can sell in the States. And it's tough to, to find something right now, especially something that you can... Um, get and quickly turn over and begin to use on your pasture. Um, 
Now, hemp has shown to be more profitable per acre than almost any other crop, period, uh, over the the vast uh, n number of uh, uh, crops that are grown in the United States of America today. Uh, you know, and when, when cultivated and processed correctly, it truly can be incredibly lucrative, uh, yielding uh, millions of dollars um, on only three to five acres. Uh, now, it, it also is more receptive to organic cultivation, and this is important um, because if you've seen my video on Monsanto, Bayer, uh, genetically modified uh, foods, and the way that they are harming our health, uh, it, it, it's uh, safe to assume that we need to start to move our food supply chain toward a more organic cultivation practice. Um, it's, it's just a necessity. Uh, and hemp also enriches the soil uh, and it uses less water. So it's better for the environment uh, and we need to be sequestering carbon from the atmosphere. And it's also a plant with high levels of carbon sequestration. So, um, you know, we could even see a hemp carbon crediting system or something like that. Uh, and it eliminates the need for non-renewable carbon resources such as oil and petroleum because you can make biofuel and you can make better plastics with hemp. And Hemp Inc. has actually patented their own uh, formulation for hemp bioplastics. Now, this is breaking news just as last week. Uh, they're reporting it on their Instagram. Go follow them there. Uh, follow Bruce Perlone on Instagram. This is incredible stuff, folks. And I'm telling you, the hemp revolution is on. Um, now, hemp is an incredible crop. Uh, like I said, one that takes very well to organic cultivation practices. And um, today, I want to bring on a special guest, Andrew Camelvathen, the CEO of Wholesome Nutrients, also a cultivation stakeholder with the Champ Initiative. Hello, Jake. Thank you for having me on your show. Uh, like we said, uh, Wholesome Nutrients is a member and stakeholder uh, with the Champ Initiative. Uh, we have a lot of great things going on at Wholesome Nutrients, but first I'd like to get into the CHAMP initiative. Uh, CHAMP stands for the Colorado Hemp Advancement Management Plan. Uh, and here at Wholesome Nutrients, we believe in turnkey organic solutions. We want to provide the best possible product, and we like to believe that we have a triple bottom line, which cares for our people, our plants, and our farmers alike. Our integrity goes far beyond just our business. So the CHAMP uh, project is about creating regulatory uh, incentives, benefits, policy, in every which way that we can help the farmers, processors, people within the industry trying to make a living just like any other farmer out there without persecution. We believe that we should, we should have a segue into providing the best quality material in the United States, not only for the future of this industry within the United States, but expanding into doing international business and have American hemp a staple known all around the world. At Wholesome Nutrients, we want to provide all of these possible solutions. And with that, we're working with hemp cultivators all across the United States to do testing, thorough uh, obtain thorough data and work with every possible person to see where we can learn, how we can grow, and create the finest policy in the United States. Hello again, everybody. That was Andrew Camelvathen, CEO of Wholesome Nutrients, our sponsor here at The Light. Thanks for joining us on the show, Andy. Um, now, um, we have had successful results with Wholesome Nutrients at the light uh, here actually you can see behind me this garden brought to you by wholesome nutrients I have had a lot of wholesome veggies grown from my wholesome garden uh, so thank you to uh, mr. camel Vathen and wholesome nutrients for those samples uh, folks you can go and get yours at their store today um, now, everybody, thank you again for tuning in to the light. I hope that this has been an awesome video for you. I hope you appreciate it. And uh, please do subscribe and like the video. It's very important to me and uh, to the channel here. Uh, thanks again for being a part of this community. And thanks to all of you folks out there supporting me. Much love. I couldn't do it without you. Uh, now, uh, tune in next week for more news. I will be there. And until then, stay frosty, folks.
Thank you.